Yes. So good morning. I am here to present the INSAO Iniciativa de Monitoreo Socioecológico de la Amazonia Occidental, uh, Western Amazon Sentinel Landscape. It's even bigger than uh, the Nicaragua and Honduras Sentinel Landscape. It's uh, 40 million hectares. Is uh, at the border across uh, three important Amazon countries. There is Brazil, uh, Peru, and Bolivia. Uh, most of the land is forested for about 70%, and uh, most of the forest is actually uh, occupied by uh, productive forest concession and concession uh, for non-timber forest products, conservation, and uh, increasingly for uh, uh, ecotourism. The agricultural <coughs> landscape mosaic uh, includes a variety of uh, land units, uh, mostly uh, degraded pasture land and area of, of fallows are dominant in the in the matrix and uh, in uh, some of the region composing the landscape we also have uh, uh, expanding commodity crops mostly in Ucayali we have oil palm and uh, and cacao that are increasingly important there are three uh, main so socio-ecologic contexts the areas that are along the rivers that are mostly populated by indigenous community practicing shifting cultivation and the harvesting of uh, uh, timber and non-timber forest products and the ribereños and mestizos groups and then we have settlements along the road that are mostly inhabited by colonists and uh, these are the groups that are most involved in the production of uh, commodities and livestock and then we have uh, intensive peri-urban agriculture around the main uh, centers of uh, uh, Pucallpa, of uh, Puerto Maldonado and, uh, and Cubilla. So, uh, yeah, uh, we have contrasting growth paths uh, across the different region, for example, in, uh, in Ucayali, that is one of the two uh, regions of, uh, of Peru, we had uh, an important growth over the last years, uh, mostly related to hydropower. Agriculture is not the most important uh, sector in these regions. For example, in, in, uh, in Ucayali is now uh, hydropower and, uh, and, uh, and market and uh, services are growing important, but agriculture is also uh, growing mostly because of the ex expansion of uh, of oil palm, uh, and then we have uh, regions like, for example, Madre de Dios, where we have uh, uh, that is experiencing an economical decline related to the uh, crisis in the in the mining sector. Uh, we have uh, we can observe that there is a sort of uh, uh, explosion of the uh, urban uh, center and particularly uh, Pucallpa that uh, is uh, the, the capital of the department of, uh, of Ucayali and the rapid development of uh, transport infra infrastructure. Illegal activities are a main driver of uh, forest loss and degradation, in particular the production of uh, coca leaves uh, both in Ucayali and increasingly in Pando and then uh, the uh, illegal uh, gold mining activities in uh, Madre de Dios. Uh, land management conflicts are reported in all the uh, regions, mostly due to overlapping uh, rights, encroachment of migrants into indigenous land, uh, illegal land titling processes, and then we have these uh, um, issue of uh, absentee landlords that is also related to this uh, uh, urbanization uh, uh, pattern and <laughs> this is what we are experiencing right now doing the surveys, we don't find the people in the villages, there is the house but people are living uh, in town or even in Lima, but they maintain the land. So there is a mosaic of people and the mosaic of livelihood strategies and the mosaic of uh, value chain that connect these people to national, uh, to local, national and, uh, and uh, international um, levels. And uh, uh, this is probably the main uh, challenge for the landscape. It's not, it's not uh, about... Uh, Poverty is about governing the dynamics of this landscape that is changing very, very fastly, very fast. So uh, one of the uh, things for which 
uh, we think that sentinel landscape uh, approach and that an integrated approach is important is this possibility of looking at scales in an horizontal uh, at another horizontal level, so for example to look at the rural-urban connection and also across the different uh, levels. And this, I think, is our added value and this is also uh, what is considered important by our partners. The, the contribution of the Sentinel landscape is to understand and test methodology to to characterize local context, so this place-based research that uh, also uh, Anya mentioned, within national and global frameworks, and to understand and specially describe the couple degradation and recovery processes in these landscapes that, uh, as, as I said, there are, uh, in particular, the, 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 the post-deforestation landscape are uh, dominated by uh, pastures and, uh, and degraded uh, land, of, often without people <coughs> really living on it. And then to demonstrate the role of current combination of cross-scale, cross-level interaction over the dynamics that uh, are observed. And um, so in terms of uh, uh, the platform for, for research and development, uh, we, we have a, a, a series of uh, partners that also, uh, the way in which we look at partnership correspond to the way in which we look at uh, uh, our possible uh, impact. And uh, we have three different types of partners. We have research partners, we have uh, uh, policy partners, and then we have NGO and development partners. And these different groups of partners uh, operate at different levels. So we have uh, uh, local, uh, regional partners that are the, mostly the university, University of uh, Ucayali of Madre de Dios. We have the National uh, Research Institution and uh, YAP is our main partner. They are the ones that are actually uh, implementing the data collection in, uh, in, uh, in Peru. And then uh, we have, in collaboration with, uh, with INEA, and then we have more uh, sort of regional level partners, so that are partners that work in the region, in the various countries. And we have uh, the regional government, and uh, the Ministry of uh, Environment and Ministry of Agriculture of uh, Peru that are very interested in uh, looking at what we are doing, especially in terms of uh, restoration. And then uh, we have uh, uh, as partner FAO and IFRI, as Anya mentioned, and CESVI, which is an NGO that is working across uh, the borders and that is uh, uh, now implementing the Sentinel Landscape Framework in uh, in Bolivia. So the, the outcome is uh, that this partner adopt a different approach to identify, manage and regulate, regulate and foster local change path for production and ecosystem services provision. And this I think is something that we can already uh, see that, uh, for example, uh, FAO wants to link up with us and we have already been invited to be uh, members of, uh, of a platform to understand uh, land cover changes and how to describe uh, all the uh, fallow, rotation and uh, land uses um, trajectories uh, outside the forest borders. Of course, the Ministry of Environment and Agriculture that are quite interested in the way in which we look at uh, integrated uh, uh, patterns across uh, uh, places and, uh, and scale. So in terms of uh, potential for cross FDA and CRP work, uh, of course it's, it's, it's a bit obvious, that's also why they were uh, selected. There is a wide diversity of sites that can be used for flagship one, flagship three activities. Uh, there is a high potential for uh, flagship two in the context of forest management and genetic uh, both for natural and uh, restored setting and uh, flagship four is already quite active through bilateral projects mostly on red governance both from the ECRAF and C4 side with uh, uh, tenure and gender as uh, cross-cutting uh, issues. There is the collocation with the oil palm uh, central landscape I think Pablo will uh, present that later. Uh, we have some work on, uh, on cacao certification, 
connection with PIM, a project with the CCAF that uh, will start next year on low emission development strategies across scales. And then these other pilot project that Anya mentioned with uh, IUCN that's in terms of uh, bilateral, that is uh, another block that, uh, an extra block that we are adding in the region of uh, Ukayali to work on uh, um, restoration of degraded smallholder landscape. I think that's all, and uh, thank you. The data, we also have uh, an updated portfolio about all the data and things. If you are interested, I can share it with you. But I thought it was more important to give you an idea of uh, the context.